If you're looking for excitement and fun, there's nothing better than a jaunt into the heart of the city. Join us as we explore downtown La Crosse, Eau Claire, Oshkosh, and Green Bay. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. A little bit quirky, a little bit cool, and tons of recreation, art, and music. I'm here to talk to a few of the locals to find out if what I've heard is true, that Eau Claire is like a mini version of Portland, which still manages to keep up Wisconsin's Midwest pace and kindness. So this is my first time to Eau Claire, but I keep hearing about how charming it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> what makes Eau Claire so charming? I think, you know, things like this, public art is pretty much everywhere in our downtown streets uh, between our sculpture tour, this mural project, um, you know, the lights on the trees. We've got art galleries, music left and right, music festivals coming to our area, and then of course our Pablo Center, which is a gem of our downtown that hosts all kinds of performance art. So I've been hearing about the past 10 years and that there's been this big uh, downtown revitalization. What's been going on this past 10 years? Oh my gosh, we've been doing everything. So uh, we're really trying to draw attention to our riverfront. So we added bike trails, we added lights to the bridges, music to the streets, and that's really drawing not only a visitors to our community, but businesses as well. So we have a whole new strip of local businesses that you can find something interesting and new you haven't seen before. Here we are, hanging out at Carson Park. Carson Park. How's your ice cream? It's very good. So what's the, what's the food scene? Yeah, it, what's that like? it varies a lot. There's upscale restaurants, but then you've got the like little dives. You've got Corton House, who has two for one burgers, and Ray's has like hot beef sandwiches. Yeah, that's like the classic, <laughs> like if you talk to any person who's like lived in Eau Claire, they're probably gonna tell you to go to Ray's. So it sounds like there's a good mix for there everybody. Is. What's it like owning a small business in the, the community around here? It's changed a lot. A lot of cool new businesses are moving in. As you know, new businesses start, like we're able to connect with them and build the relationships. We very much like lean on each other. I mean, a lot of our print revenue is local businesses. And then we try to do whatever we can to help out. We've done like live printing events, so we'll promote their business. Last question I have is how do I get an like, Ambient Ink t-shirt like that? I have anything in the trunk? <laughs> I don't have anything in the trunk. Like in the old days? I did like two days ago. Should, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should start off with Revival Records. What does this place have to do with Eau Claire and the music scene? Yeah, it's kind of like the main place where people buy their records and where they like to kind of give back to artists in a more physical way. And I think that's so important yeah, and so, so cool. cool. So, and I keep hearing about the music scene here in Eau Claire. What makes the music scene here particularly unique? I think it's definitely unique in the quality and quantity. Any day of the week, you could go to any kind of venue. Definitely in the summer, we like to get out um, and have concerts at the park. There's people who busk even. You can go into somebody's basement and listen to incredible music or go to the Pablo and see, you know, sit with 1,200 other people and see a world-renowned artist. One thing that I really like about the rivers going through town is there's different parts to get out. Um, you can tube, you can swim, and then along the river, one of the things that's grown has been the, the bike path, running path system. It's just completely exploded. It makes a lot of sense with the flow of the city for commuting, walking, running, biking. We've basically taken some main veins of big trails and interconnected them all throughout the coolest parts of Eau Claire. So uh, it seems like there's a big social side. You mentioned a group run. Yep. You guys do group runs oh, with yeah. Blue Ox. Um, yeah, we, we, our motto is fast or slow, let's go. It's pretty laid back. A lot of people are there for the time after where they grab a drink. Yeah. And a lot of people are there for accountability. All these different activities over the course of all four seasons, you kind of see the same people getting together for different activities. It's that welcoming social spirit, the bonding over shared activities that I think is the essence of Eau Claire. So come join the scene. Wherever you are, whatever you're into, I'm willing to bet you can find your people here. 
Get the inside scoop on more of your favorite places to visit in Wisconsin by listening to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin.